So once again, for this feature, we're able to tap on the selection that we want, tap on the plus icon, and then save as much as four different custom sizes or presets that all they have to do later on, you just slide them into each of those saved slots and you can continue to illustrate. Hello everyone and welcome back to another small preview here of Procreate 5.2 Beta. And for today's lesson, we're going to take a look at the amazing feature of being able to save your brush sizes, your preset brush sizes on the new version of Procreate that's coming out very soon. So it's an ability that lets you to actually tap on your brush size here. As you can see, we see a small thumbnail and you can tap on the plus icon and set that size for the future, for new canvases, for more illustrations that you do. In the case that you use this single brush with multiple sizes. So I've prepared an illustration right here that I can give you guys the best visual example. In fact, I've actually used one single brush to complete this whole illustration. And that brush is a simple monoline or studio pan brush. In this case here, I'm using the painting in the painting section, the brown brush that comes with uh, Procreate 5.2 beta. So the challenge really is that once you're creating this illustration and say this is part of your art style, so meaning that you're making several illustrations with this same visual style, um, maybe you got accustomed to the width or the thickness of the stroke and you want to be able to recreate that over and over because it's part of your art style once again. So I'm just going to create a new layer here so I can demonstrate uh, that once you are here back in the same brush that you, you know, you're using to create that illustration, you have to now be finding that specific and I'm just going to go back to the shade of uh, the, the shade of black that I was using for the outlines. You have to be finding what was the thickness that you use? So in this case here, oh, I think it was perhaps 3%, say that like a couple of days have passed or maybe even a week between a couple of illustrations. And in fact, 3% is actually looking still just a little bit thicker than the actual outline used. So once again, you're here guessing uh, what was supposed to be your art style, something that uh, should stay perhaps consistent. You're now sort of doing some guessing game and now perhaps, oh, uh, perhaps it was 2% that I used. So then I need to remember that it was 2%, maybe even write it somewhere in my notes so that when I keep uh, making my illustrations and now I head into the, uh, into the shadows, say I create a new layer, probably set the opacity to a lower amount. And now that I'm doing the shadows and I'm creating this, then imagine all of a sudden I forget once again the width of the stroke for my outline. So all of that is gone with Procreate's newest feature to save your brush preset sizes, as well as even your opacity uh, presets if you want to. So I'm going to uh, just undo a bunch of stuff here and we're going to create a new uh, screen size canvas so that I can do this from the very beginning. So first and foremost, what you probably want to do is to test it out. So say that you're going to find your outline size and I'm probably just going to set to about 2%. So I think this is a very good size. I'm happy with the size uh, because the thing that I'm trying to also say is that this size is related to the canvas size that, you, that you're working on. If I were to actually work in a 4K or 6K or even 8K resolution canvas, this outline stroke would look more like super, super thin because the brushes are actually, um, they will actually shrink the bigger your canvas, the more pixels your canvas has. So you do need to adapt to that. You kind of need to find your favorite canvas size before you sort of go through this experience of saving your presets. So once again, I'm using the screen size canvas for my iPad M1 as the sort of benchmark to establish my brush sizes. So the first one, I'm going to say my outlines is going to be about 2%. So all I have to do is to tap on the size that I want, tap on this little plus icon, and you see now it has a blue tick, or that means that the preset is now saved. For my shadows, I'm probably going to be uh, somewhere around 25%. Once again, you can play around with sizing, see if that feels good. That to me does feel good as a sort of a brush size to fill up shadow, shadow areas. So I'm just going to tap here and also tap on the plus icon. 
And finally, say that I wanted some really bigger shapes or bigger areas being filled. I'm just going to go to 60%, tap on the plus icon once again. So now I got my three sizes selected. I'm just going to slide down and Procreate sort of snaps once you get close to your saved preset area. I know I'm on 2%, so I'm just going to zoom out, go into the Actions menu, even throw some drawing guides as well. I'm also going to edit them, make sure the cells are a little bit bigger. And now I'm just going to make a circle. Make my circle here. I'm just going to edit the shape just to bring it up just a little bit uh, towards the center. And now that I have my shape selected, I am going to create a, create a new layer. Now, as I know, my layer one was my is my outline layer. I'm just going to tap here and I'm going to tap on reference, which means that Procreate is going to understand that these should be the boundaries where I want to drop colors or drop ink or paint. So now that I have my reference layer at the top and my new layer at the bottom, I just need to drop a color, fill in my circle. And in this case here, in this new example, I did make my outlines rather thin but it will be just enough to show what I'm trying to um, actually, you know, showcase here with the size of the presets. So now I'm just going to zoom out, create a new layer, set this at the bottom, and I actually don't need the reference layer anymore. I'm just going to turn off the reference layer. And then on right here on my bottom layer, I'm just going to select this blue and go back into the layers panel, tap here and select view layer, just to sort of fill my background with a color. I'm going to create a new layer, tap on this layer, select clipping mask. And for the opacity, I'm just going to tap on the little uh, blending mode icon here. Just going to drop it down to let's just say 35%. So now with the black color selected, I'm just going to go up into the slider, find my second sort of preset that I saved, which was about, uh, I believe 25% and making sure I got my layer, my correct layer selected. I'm now going to draw the curvature of the shadows. They are going to be affecting that sphere. Say we want something like this and the rest. I'm just going to paint just like so. And I can even move this layer a little bit down uh, so that there's more surface illuminated rather than being shadowed. And now in the brush slider, I'm just going to go up a little bit. Once again, stop at my last preset, go into the layers panel, create a new layer and using the same brush, I'm just going to make sort of an ellipse and I can edit the shape and I can get the shape more or less that I want for it to be uh, sort of the projected shadows on the floor. So something like this. And then on the layers panel, Let's bring the opacity down quite a bit and here we go. So was, I was able to basically use all the three presets on the brush. And if I also wanted, I could establish some of these opacity, these saved presets as well on the opacity slider. I could tap here on perhaps 76% and I could have something like 25% and one at the very top, which is the fully opaque one. If that even made sense, cause I know it's already at hundred percent, but in any case, you got the same sort of presets that you can establish on the opacity as well as on the brush size. Now, what's super cool about this feature is that I'm just going to make a copy just in case I'm just going to hit duplicate. You can apparently, I haven't tested this fully, but if we actually share this brush and upload it to the cloud, so I'm just going to send it to my Dropbox. And now if we were to tap on the plus icon right here on the brush library, hit import, and find that in my list of brushes, which is right here. Now, when I go to imported, I have that same brush with the same saved presets for brush size and opacity slider as well. So apparently you can even share these brushes and Procreate will know it will come with these saved presets as well as one more thing going back into the gallery section and creating another screen size or whatever canvas. If you go to that same brush, it still comes with those saved presets. So that sort of capability is saved across all of the canvases that you can create in Procreate, thus allowing you to continue with your art style 
keeping the strokes and the fills and the shadow layers all the same throughout all of your multiple illustrations. So this is super, super awesome. It's an amazing feature that's finally added into Procreate 5.2. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, a like would be super appreciated as well as make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss any of these tips and tricks, reviews, especially previews of Procreate 5.2 beta that's coming out very, very soon. Now on the right side of the screen, there's always more content for you guys to check it out. One is my latest upload and the other one is a video that YouTube's recommending you to check it out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.